Hello there, kids, and it's I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Knights of the Old Republic. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, well, we had just gotten through pretty much all of Davik's estate, having picked up pretty much everything of value across it, and now we are on our way out the door, uh, well, out the hangar bay door, to try and get onto his ship, after getting the codes to start it, to get into it, and uh, having the codes already to get us off the planet, we are good to go. Damn those Sith, they're bombing the whole planet. Oh I'm boy! Turn on the sooner or... Wow, look what we got here. Thieves in the hangar. Yeah, so, who'd have thunk it? You figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry. Yeah, a little bit. Ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I if bet you have. This mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Well, uh, I'm going to attack Gallo because he seems to be the biggest threat. So, uh, oh, I should probably also shield up. Good. Onward we go. Ow! Nice try, though. Alright. Doing good thus far. Probably concussion grenade. There we go. Oh, nothing worked. Nothing that. If I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Okay. Well, that's... That's a little drastic, don't you think? Time to run, yeah. Oh, no shit. I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Yeah, they did. <laughs> oh, that took... That took out Davik, too. And I was damaged straight to hell. Oh, boy. Okay. I died. What can I do? Well, then. <laughs> All right, well. There we go. What can I do? That worked, I guess. Sure. Yeah, sure. All right, let's get out of here. But first, let's loot Davik. Ooh, Arcanian energy shield, his war suit and his visor. Oh my, he's got a lot of good stuff. I can't get to Callow Thor. Thor? Callow though. That's what I meant. I was, gonna, I was trying to say Callow Nord and Callow though at the same time. Why I don't know. Do you wish to board the Ebon Hawk? Yeah, That's get me on the Ebon Hawk to get me out of this. Pick up the rest of your friends, and then we'll have to get off this planet. Yeah, like now. Be nice if they came with us while we were doing all this shit, but be a little difficult considering we were trying to go for sneaky. Back aboard the ship with the Sith. It's always so dark on the Sith ships. They embrace the dark side. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord. That was a stupid joke. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Well. Um, that seems quite a bit extreme, but, uh, already? Well, then. Looks and sounds like a lot of people are dying. Ooh. Ooh. Yeesh. Yeah, you wouldn't think from uh, them being just lasers, but it, they are doing some extreme damage there. Oh boy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. 
Incoming fighters. Great. Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Alright, guess I gotta do the fucking firing part. And this is where the fun doesn't begin. <laughs> And this is the reason why you play it on the Xbox One. <laughs> because uh, trying to do it on the computer doesn't let you do anything. At least it didn't when I played it uh, a while ago. Okay, here it lets you actually interact with some of the stuff. All right. Oh, fuck you. You fucker. How dare you. Got you at least. Oh, yes. There we go. Got you. I'm not good at leaving shots, I'll, I'll admit. Oh, I managed to get that one. Fuck it. Ah, I got that one. Good. Got you. Come on. Fuck it. Ah, I am not good shots. This is why I would not do well as a gun turret operator. There you go. I am good at close range. Not that sort of shit. Well, we are free. 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 free, 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 free. I don't know what my brain did there. It just broke. We are free and clear for the jump to hyperspace. That's what I meant to say. That was a noise. That I'm was a clean. Seems like a lifetime distressing noise. Put on her surface. Though in truth, it's only been a few months. We should really? be safe from Malak here. For now, at least. All right. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they yeah, turned the planet that's... into one big pile of rubble. Yeah. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. I mean... I don't know. I like Karth's point. We should probably keep moving. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We okay. can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Okay. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. I guess. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Mission must be taking it pretty hard. Oh, she yeah, she used to, to live to there. To terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go well, speak to the council. Well, I hope I need their advice we can give her time. Recent developments. After I've uh -huh. met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. Alrighty. Sounds good to me. I mean, in an FMV sort of way, it is kind of pretty. I've spoken briefly with the council. They request an audience with you. We should go okay. at once. An audience All with right. the Jedi Council? That's it's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. Yeah, you're not wrong. I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come, they're expecting All us. Alright. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Okay, until you have talked with the Jedi Council, you will be unable to switch characters in and out of the party. Fair enough. Um, what kind of want to look at some of that. That shield for one. Energy, sonic, cold heat, electrical... Whoa. And it does 40 points instead of the 20 points for that. And it does all types of fucking damage I could get. Jeez, except for like physical. Even 2,000 years after the designs were pioneered, Arcanian technology remains desirable. When equipped and activated, this forearm shield protects against a variety of combat conditions, though it must be replaced often due to ver burnout. I was about to say burnout. That's not right. Anywho, uh, yeah, 
yeah, with combined with the armband and the belt, yeah, got pretty high up in the defense area there. I could I could do worse. Defensive areas, I meant to say. Man, I'm sleepy. <laughs> I just got home after work. Uh, you have now gained possession of the Ebon Hawk, your own space vessel. With it, you can travel throughout the galaxy to any world you choose. Unfortunately, your choices right now are very limited, because the Jedi Council will not let you leave Dantooine. Most of your party will remain aboard the Ebon Hawk while you explore Dantooine. Should you need them, they will await you there. In one of the holds, there is a workshop of tools you can use to upgrade existing weapons and armor if you buy enhancements for them. Additionally, it would seem that Davik had stored a swoop bike aboard the Ebon Hawk before you stole it. If you found a track somewhere, you might be able to make some good money with it. Hmm. Good to know. Hmm. Well, I guess I gotta follow them. Or not. You're named. You. No Greetings, sentient. May I take a moment of your time for a question? Uh, only if I get to ask you something in return. As you desire, though I suspect there is little information I possess that would be any use to an off-worlder such as yourself. I, rep uh, I represent a human citizen of Dantooine by the name of Rundela out of Ot Sulem. His ranch has had considerable difficulty with Mandalorian raiders for many years. His young daughter was kidnapped by those raiders many years ago and has not been returned. Might you have news of her? Her name is Sasha. I have no idea who you're talking about. Ah, that is too bad. I shall have to continue my search. Are problems with Mandalorians common on Dantooine? I understand they are, though I know little of the history behind this conflict. Someone native to this planet could tell you more. Isn't there something the local authorities should be able to do? I mean, it is the fucking... It should be the local authorities' job. Is there any? Oh, Dantooine has little in the way of local authorities, sentient. I asked the Jedi of the Enclave to intervene, but they have far more pressing concerns to attend to. As is often the way on this planet, if a citizen wishes to accomplish something, they must seek to do it themselves. Ooh. So, uh, wild frontier land out here is what I'm getting. Oof. Oof. That is, uh, not a fun experience. That is not fun at all. Yeesh. Uh. Well, I mean. Give me a second. I had to yawn. Ooh, boy. I was really tired from working today. <laughs> Is there anything of interest on Dantooine that you could tell me about? There was no large urban center on Datu Dantooine, if that's what interests you. I find the variety and number of natural habitats to be most intriguing, however. If you get the chance, I would urge you to explore the planet's ranges in more detail. They are quite beautiful. Uh, I'll keep my eye out for your girl. I would appreciate that content. Which is, I'm not sure, uh, it was brought up by someone else on a different, uh, on a different playthrough. I think it was of this game, exactly. Uh, the Zaibatsu before they split up, uh, so a Wooly and Pat. Pat brought up that technically the term that they're looking for is sapient, uh, I'm, I'm not sure which one I prefer more because technically sentient kind of rolls off the tongue more. Even though sapient is technically the correct term. I just... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, let us go and talk to the Jedi Council. Oh, wait. Disra. Welcome to the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Disra Lurjada. You may call me Disra. I have not heard of any new apprentices being accepted for trading recently. What brings you to this place, if I may ask? 
Uh, I came here with Bastila. Yes, of course, I should have known. I have only heard a little of how she escaped the destruction of Terrace. Tell me, did she save you from that planet as well? Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to be petty. She didn't save me. We worked together to escape Tars. Oh, I see. Well, I meant no offense, of course. In any case, it is good to have her back here on Dantooine again. We were afraid Malak had captured her. I hope you enjoy your time here on Dantooine. Dantooine? I keep mispronouncing it. May the Force be with you. Dantooine. Dantooine. I don't know why my mouth keeps wanting to do da. Da. Hello, who are you? You there, Belaya. Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Um, Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Um, I'm not a Padawan. Uh, I mean, I don't intend to mock the traditions, just I am not a Padawan. Bastila. Came here with Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Mm -hmm. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. Ooh, what a you, burn. You claim you are not a Padawan? I find this yeah. hard to believe. The force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. I keep this hearing is some that. type of jest. It is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. And you are taking yourself way too seriously, madam. Uh... <laughs> I didn't come here to be scolded by you. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. Yeah, a little. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. Yeah. You see, I have much left to learn. I wish you a, a pleasant little. stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Thank you. Thank you. At least you... rescinded the crazy... And then, you know, it actually was nice. So thank you. All right. Uh, that's a thing. I'm assuming that's actually... Oh, yeah, there's Karth. So, yeah, that's the critical path. I was assuming because of a big round room that usually suggests Jedi Council Chambers. Someone's probably looking at me weird, like, what do you mean by that? I mean, do you remember how it was with the movies? Big round, big, big, big round room. Jedi Council, right there. The Yoda makes Windu and all of that. I mean, come on. I can't have been the only one who noticed. Alan Matale. Why are you bothering me? Um, here to speak I was council. looking around. Some servant. Eggs! Please leave. Excuse me? I shall be forced to tell the council of your rude behavior. Um, first of all, fuck you. Second of all, fuck you. And third of all, fuck you. Sola, I haven't seen you around here before. I'm a traveler in search of a little entertainment. Care to have a hand of Pazak with me? I don't have a deck. Oh, that is... That is a lot of credits. I don't think I'm willing to spend that much. To play a fucking triple triad game. Nah. Nah, I'm not woolly. I'm not woolly like that. If someone donates to my Patreon... <laughs> and convinces me to do it, maybe... Okay, that was a bad plug. I apologize. That was stupid. That was the stupidest sellout ever. But, offers open. <laughs> hey, Garth. I'm waiting for you inside. Thank you. you do, are you not going? I guess you're not allowed. Okay. Ah. See you, Garth. So you are the one who rescued Bastila. Oh, so they recognize I did it. Okay. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar. A member of the Jedi Council. With Thank me, you. our Master Vo Hi there. Master Vandar. Hi there. And of course, the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Hi there. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. A little bit. A little bit. So, you've drawn me into your little trap, Bastila. What now? <laughs> um, isn't the Jedi Council on Coruscant? Yes. 
The High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant, but we are the council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Ah, I see. Um, I've got some questions for all of you. Indeed, I am sure that you do. I assure you that we will have answers for you. Good to hear. Why am I a special case? Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. What? Um, strong in the Force. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. All proof. right, that's fair. Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both luck. know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long enough. What do you mean begun to manifest? Even when working with a young and open well, isn't mind. it always there? Or isn't Teaching it supposed to be always there? Hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? You'd be surprised how easy it is, actually. Uh, of course, Great Jedi is a lie. Uh huh. Uh, I'm ready to accept the training, and my age has nothing to do with such it. Such pride, such arrogance. <laughs> this one is already on the path to the dark side. Shut there up! Are many who are not given proper training, Master Vrook. Only through our guidance can we hope to lead those who have strayed back to the path of the light. Thank you! Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, mm -hmm. though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandal. Alrighty. Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Fair enough. And then I'm going to have my little vision again. And I'll mention something about Master Vandar in just a moment. Don't you worry. Ooh. Foreign-looking room with Revan and Malik. Malik doesn't have that big metal neck brace thing. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. You just you just kind of sit there like you're fanboying about the dark the side here. Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Oh, so he was a big whiny baby at first. Okay. He wasn't the big evil Sith guy until after all of this happened. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention what? that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. All right. Uh, did she say anything else? No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall, and for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? Uh, I had a rough night. A rough tossing and turning night. Let's you go. Got it. All right, cool. Two slots open. Uh, can't... Uh, can't add Basila, I guess. Okay. Um, Alright. Let's go with mission. Sure. She needs a little training. A little level up, rather. Speaking of... Uh, let's give Karth his level up. Um, hmm. Where should I put that? Maybe intelligence will be worthwhile. Maybe... Maybe. 
Just maybe. Just to give him a couple more skill points I can put in the things. Yeah, there we go. One more. Nice. One more is better than fuck all. Uh, I can eventually start maxing it out and start working on other things. Good. Good, good, good. Feats. Oh, I can bring him up to fucking master two weapon fighting, which is great. Um, let's check out what other things. Uh, nothing else really. Let's just do that. Put it there. Nice. All right, and then we swap to mission. Wow. Okay. Awareness, security. Oh, geez. Um. Yeah, I should absolutely bring mission with me more. Yeesh. Yeesh, there is so many. So many points I need to have on me usually that I can't do. Okay. Um, my guy, I already have computer use pretty high up. I have repair pretty high up. It pretty much complements... Uh, What uh, da, 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 da. what mission has, uh, to a T, pretty pretty much. Huh. Sneak attack, nice. Oh, only one. All right, well, maybe though. All right. Sure. Um. Can I? Oh, I can't pick the party again. Oh, I can. Never mind. That's silly. Didn't want to do it right away. That's goofy. Um, let's check out Zalbars. Um, huh. He had treat injury that low. Uh, he can't do security. He can do awareness and demolitions. But that's it. Hmm. Huh. Uncanny dodge. Okay. Well. Let's go and prove dueling. Huh. Is that good enough? I wonder. Do I really want to go with those skills? I, I would prefer, if anything, probably bumping that up as high as I can. And then going treat injury. Huh. Yeah, we'll max out demolitions and awareness and then work on treat injury after that. Yeah, that sounds good to me. And then we'll get uh, improved dueling and that'll be good. Um, yeah, that'll work. I like that. You know what? Just do it the combo here. Zalbar and Mission. Eh, no. No, I need someone who's particularly strong in combat. Uh, at least with ranged. Eh, Mission might actually still be good with ranged. Yeah, let's go with that. That was a weird... Uh, that was a weird little glitch there. Okay. Mission seems rather distant. Miss distance? Distant. Maybe you should talk to her. Maybe I should learn to talk. Huh? Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Terrace. I still can't believe it's gone. I bet. I mean, I grew up there and now it's 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 just gone. Yeah. Malak will pay for what he did, mission. Yeah, I know. The Jedi I got to rid make of sure that was what so I was choosing. I figure Malak's days are number two. That doesn't make the pain go away, you know? Look, yeah. I'm not saying I can't go on or anything like that. It's just, it's a shock, you know? I mean, I knew the Sith were evil and all, but the reality of it kind of slaps you in the face. But I suppose that's why we need to stop Malak, right? The more time I spend dwelling on Terrace, the more chance some other planet will get wiped out. Exactly. Yes, that's what it comes down to. So don't worry about me. 
I'll be okay. And if you need my help against Malik or the Sith, I'll be there for you. Sounds good. Good to hear, Mission. Now let's uh, go talk with the Jedi Council. Because, uh... Sounds like something that they need me for. And I wonder what it is. Alright. Heading this way. And then take another left. And here we are. Oh, Bastila is here. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. Uh -huh. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision. Oh, she, of so she and Revan saw it too. In the ancient ruins here on Dantui. Oh. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected. If Revan and Malak found something there. It sounds like it. Uh, they seem to be searching for something. Wait, how would Bastila know we, if we shared a dream? She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong huh. in force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. Uh -oh. The force is acting through you as it acts through Bastila. I'm having visions now. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force mm -hmm. and each other. This is not um, unheard of. Connections weird. often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers huh. may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. Fair enough. Are you saying I'm joined with her? You and she are linked. As is your fate to hers. Together, uh, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of well, the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are yeah. you ready for such hardship? I'm ready for whatever awaits me. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you okay. or us. Oh. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. Uh, the Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. Yeesh. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. The sure. Jedi have fallen from the light and embrace the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. Jedi are turning to the dark side? The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council Yeesh. has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready. Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Uh... Sounds like it's going to be very involved here. I'm ready now. I accept this mission. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you are willful and headstrong. A dangerous combination. Before also a good to investigate combination, ruins, usually. You must be trained in the ways of the Jedi. Okay. So that you can resist the darkness within yourself. Within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. Fair enough. As you wish, Master Vandor. We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. Me too. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Gee, she is kicking my ass. Teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. The Jedi is never alone. 
Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. Hmm. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Oh, hey! Yet even Doing though pretty you good. are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In that all is my impressive. years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Yay! Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Fair enough. Uh, what must I do to prove myself? In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, Mm -hmm. You must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Three? Okay. Uh, what kind of tests are these? These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, Alrighty. I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must ah. always guide your actions in everything you this do. This one I already know. You must always be conscious of their wisdom. Because you must I am a you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Fair enough. Can do. Now, I meant to talk about Vandar. Forgot at the moment. Remembered now. Master Vandar, as you may have noticed, is the same species as Yoda. But you may have noticed that he doesn't talk the same. Back in the way, way old days of the EU, apparently uh, it was thought up that his species was very long-lived, always very strong in the Force, and essentially pretty much always light side. Not to mention that some eccentricities would pop up with each, with each generation. There, I don't remember how um, how they come to be. I think it just they spring from the force sort of thing. I don't know. I don't right recall. But I do know that this was like two or three iterations before Yoda in the main story. It might have been more than that. I don't... Like I said, I don't right recall. This is several thousand years before the Battle of Yavin. Or at least that's when the game is set. So... Uh, that's technically how most of the time period is set. It's before and after the Battle of Yavin 4. Uh, which is the big new hope fight so um yeah if i recall correctly that's essentially how it goes and that makes him very interesting as a character um there's not much else to say other than uh I kind of want to learn more <laughs> about that because, like I said, very little of that uh, I learned through osmosis and there's probably so much more. And most of the EU has been declared not canon anyway, so I don't know where it will fit on the current canon with Disney, but I'm interested to find out. But anyway, uh, enough rambling like that. Uh, I think we should be able to level up to... Uh, no, we can't yet. We cannot yet. We cannot do that yet. Uh, for now, though, I can end the episode here for right now. And we can continue on and find out if I'm right or wrong in the next episode. 
Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat playing games and finally meeting the Jedi Council after finally escaping Taurus. And uh, hey, turns out we are force sensitive enough that they want to give us Jedi training. And uh, we're going to see how that goes for you.